by illegal street racing. Neighbors are desperate for change before someone gets hurt. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Jeweler. Thanks for joining us tonight. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales driving Tampa Bay forward this evening with the one reason those same neighbors admit getting the racers to stop is no easy task. Neighbors tell me street racing at night has been a huge headache for months. But by daylight here on Chansey Road, neighbors see fresh burnout marks every week. It's a nighttime routine Brandon Kelly knows too well, but doesn't welcome. It's about 9 or 10 o'clock, and then almost on the hour, you can hear they'll start to rev their engines. Past the backyard of these new homes on Chansey Road is the lawbreaker's biggest temptation, a one mile straightaway. Most nights you can count on it every night of the week. Neighbors call the Pasco County Sheriff's Office looking for help, but say there's just one problem. It's difficult for the police to do much because they have to catch them in the act, and many times they're in and out of there quickly. The speedsters out in less than 10 minutes, leaving behind only these dark tracks by an empty dead end. PCSO tells me, quote, it is true that violators know we will respond if called, and unless we're already in the area, they will be long gone by the time we arrive. In the last year, the agency has made no citations or arrests for street racing in East Pasco. According to the Florida Highway Patrol, in June, a Camaro and a Mustang were involved in a crash on this straightaway. Troopers cited one driver for careless driving. On that same night, they received a be on the lookout for street racers. Neighbors hope something more can be done. It's been brought up in the HOA uh, before that it's only a matter of time before there's an accident and someone gets hit. And the fines can be stiff if you're caught breaking the law. Get caught doing a wheelie in a public street and that fine is $1,000. Do it again and it goes up to $2,500. Reporting for ABC Action News, I'm Isabel Rosales.